Well, one, Trap Lover 69, welcome back to the night. I am pleasure to be here again. We're at Juan's Backyard Barbecue. Uh, we're drinking and barbecuing some uh, steak skirt. And other skirt things. steak, dumbass. Whatever. And there's slugs everywhere, and I looked at anime slug girls, and I was not disappointed. You nasty motherfucker. So we got Texas Crown, and I got a booty titty shot glass. As a special guest. Yeah. <laughs> and Josh Pepper Chase, the salute. Salute. Come by. Salute. Now let's get to cooking. <laughs> 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 Hang on, I gotta do my cartwheel approval. Oh god. I shot Dr. Pepper out of my nose. Good job. What the hell? Oh, it's using the... And it'll all work out. Now let's get cooking. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's a lot better. Sorry for the technical difficulties, folks. Alright, so let's get this show on the road. During New Year's, me, Thomas... And Josh did our top 10 wood smash, fictional or otherwise. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't make it because my friends had already invited me to go fuck around with them. I whooped their asses in smash. I overdrank them. They're fucking lightweights, dude. Yeah. Like, we're, we're over here drinking, uh, what was that mix you made? That fucking uh, chalk, that coffee uh, caramel mix. So, those are uh, buttery nipples. Buttery Nipples. That's yeah. an interesting name. And then we also had Hibiki Harmony. Of course. And of course, Texas Crown, as we they may or may not have heard, thanks to technical difficulties. <laughs> and I'm still good. Yeah. Before we start, I want to talk about Lady Demetrexis. How do you say her name? I don't fucking know. Lady D. I don't know. Fucking Vampire Resident Evil Village. I want to smack her ass. I'm like, <laughs> clap it so hard. Big titty, milky mommy vampire. Nah, never mind the titties. Look at that. Dude, it just she's it, like nine feet tall. Oh god, just sit on me, dude. The fact that Markiplier <coughs> was simping over here made me feel good in my heart, bro. Everybody was simping for her. The moment she was revealed, everybody simped for her. There was a fake news article or a fake gaming news article talking about that there was pegging in the game, and everybody's like, "Yes, <laughs> oh, dude, I would have bought hundreds of copies bro, of the game. That would have like turned it upside down." And she got the claws and everything. Oh yeah, like. Mm. Yep. And uh, the mod where you could see her basically oh, yeah, almost dude, naked. Bro, before the game was even out, there was already mods to make her half naked. And then they replaced the knife with a fly swart and they just smack her ass. <laughs> it was like expectations, her <laughs> hunting you, ex or reality, you hunting her. God bless PC gaming. Okay, so what's number 10 on your top 10? Well... The, uh, Daddy White, I since it's been a while since y'all did that list, I have perfected mine to the absolute. Okay. So we're going to go for number 10, and that is Mizure Shirayuki from Rosario Vampire. Is that the vampire? That's the ice girl, dude. You have oh, the donkey of yes, her. yes, yes. I do have the, um... The cheap-ass bootleg <laughs> The <donkey>. Wish.com version <laughs> of the freaking body pillow of her. Yes. yes. The pixelated out of its mind. Oh my god, dude, that's so bad. How much was that? Like 20 bucks. Like 20 $4 bucks? dollar shipping. Oh my god, you got gypped. Okay, well I agree, that's a good That's a good number 10. What's number 9? Number 9, I gotta go by my fucking name, Trap Lover. It's a Stoffel from Fate. Uh, it's from fucking Fate Grand Order. I'm gonna say Fate Grand Order. I know there's an anime with a Stoffel in it, but... I haven't seen it yet. Is that the pink-haired one? Yes. The okay, because I only know the pink-haired one and Felix. Oh, yeah. Me. Those are the only two that I know. Oh, yeah. I'd fuck okay, them too, but... So we got a trap. All yes. Right. I gotta have a trap on my list, of course. Number eight is Congo from Kantai Collection. You may not know her, but she's one of those personified boat girls. She gives off like this mommy carrying uh, vibes. I know Persona 5, but which one is it? Not Persona 5. Con Kantai Collection. What? <laughs> How drunk are you to not fucking listen to what I'm saying? I'm talking about... Pretty drunk. Okay, well, my number eight <laughs> is Congo, a boat girl. You know you know how I... Oh, like the... Um, like Azure Lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But before, before Azure Lane, there was Kantai Collection. Is, how, it, is it the similar... Is it it's the same? It's okay. very similar. Okay. Boat girls. But it's not the same universe. No, no, no. It's different. Okay. It's just the thing. The thing is with Kantai Collection is it's more Japanese oriented. Like, it's popular in Japan, but... And here in the West, it's uh, Azure Lane is more popular. Mm, okay. Like the only thing we have for Kentai Collection in the West is anime. Mm, okay. but the, the, you got no go game to, and stuff like the Azure Lane. Has. There's games, but 
you got to go through a lot of shit just to play on on Google Chrome. It's, it's are, in Japanese. Are they the same like boats on same on both animes? Because I mean, there's only so many boats. Yes. Does Azure Lane have the SS Roosevelt? <laughs> Not that I know of. Okay, I was but, curious. <laughs> but uh, yeah, speaking of boats, number seven is Prince Eugen from Azure Lane, the German boat, right? The German boat, yes. yes. And this one's waifu. Yes, this uh-huh. is this one's from Azure Lane, not the not the Kentai collection. They both have Prince Eugen, uh-huh. but they're very very different because uh, in Azure Lane, the fucking prince in uh, in Kentai collection, it's like a little lowly little girl. Okay. And in Azure Lane, it's a woman. Yeah, thick, thick. Oh, she's <laughs> thick. All right, thick in the right area. So okay. Number six would be Neptunia, Neptune from Hyperdimension Neptunia. What? The fucking girl my what? shirt. No, no, I know, but what? Black what? Rose. No. Black Rose is number one, always has been. No. She got her own game. No. Neptune doesn't have her own game. Neptune has several games, dude. She's Don't the talk protagonist. To me. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Boy, all right, fuck you, all right. Well, to be fair, the only one I ever played was the Black Rose Goddess one because it's the <laughs> only one that's turn based. <laughs> you need to play the other games. I can't play them; they're not turn based. They kind of are. Not really. They're uh, they're live action. Oh, well, fuck you. So okay, number five is Rory Mercury. You never heard of her, have you? Uh, Freddie Mercury's daughter. No. Okay. What the fuck? She's a goth <laughs> Lolita. She's a. Uh, a uh, a goddess of death kind of kind of thing. Not really, but she's like the girl um, from Death Note. No, she's from Gate. Okay, like Steins Gate. No, mother- <laughs> God, yeah, I- boy. Okay. All right. So, do you have any real women on your list, motherfucker? <laughs> Even I had real people. <laughs> also, Prince is not a real woman. That's a woman. A woman. No, I meant like. Like living. Oh no no no! Fuck three D. Hell okay. no! All right, all right. So we're at number four. You'll know this one. Asuna Yuki from Sword Art Online. Of course, I'm surprised she's that low on your list. You'll see why. You'll see why. <laughs> okay. In a minute. Number three. This one I'm pretty well known for it amongst my friends online. Is you know Gasai from Future Diary, the Queen of Yandere. That's the pink-haired girl that always has the hands on her uh, yes, chin. The yeah. meme, yes. Yeah. Everyone she knows her. Artist draw. Yeah, she's the one who like really brought up the yandere genre. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I don't give a fuck about when they cry, Higurashi. Fuck that. I mean, it's, yandere simulator. That's baby's first yandere. You know <laughs> Gasa is the queen of yandere. Everybody knows her. I mean, I like Tits McGee from that game. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, number two is Ryobi from Sanren Kagura. Don't know who that is. You have cards from Senran Kagura. Yeah, I'm aware. And oh, you- so that, that's the game that they put the scrolls in the titties? Yes. Except this You know one- I traded those cards <coughs> at a convention for something and- Motherfucker, you could give me those cards for my birthday. No. Fuck you. Big titty cards, man. <laughs> man, fuck you. <laughs> Ryobi, despite the game being all about ninja titties, she's one of the only girls who's booty focused. You know me, I love booty. Yeah. So, I'll, it's obvious I would choose Ryobi out of all the Senran Kagura girls. Okay. And number one, this one, my closest friends know me at heart. This is my number one wife. If I can only have one wife in the world, it's this one. It's Kurumi Tokisaki from Data Live. you never seen Data Live? No. She's, is, she's, is that the vampire one? No, she's the golf Lolita, another golf Lolita, but with a clock in her eye. Sounds pretty sus, man. Your ass is sus. <laughs> Do you like her personality at least? Yes. Her sense of justice is pretty wicked, but I love every aspect of Female her. Female light yagami. <laughs> I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> We're going to have this boxing match. I'm going to fucking beat your ass for that. Okay. I mean, that when you said that, that's the first thing I thought. I'm going to hurt you really bad. My nose won't stop running. This is awful. This motherfucker probably has COVID. I'm like right next to him like fucking. Yeah. Which one- you're vaccinated. Yeah, I am. I and am. I'm happy to be vax free. Stand with me and be vax free so we can have a safe, livable nation. Hashtag COVID's a lie. Okay. <laughs> you know my mom had COVID twice. I had COVID twice too. Good for you. You want a cookie? I mean, want a I, was waiting for, I was waiting for the meat from the grill. Whoa, the fucking charcoal's down. burning right now we'll as we're up. recording. <laughs> okay, so idea. let's get cooking. <laughs> let's get cooking. Let's <laughs> pack the baker. Let's pack the baker. Let's get, let's get cracking on level cooking. two. <laughs>
I can't wait till that. Uh, you know, we have to play that stupid game when it comes out. The, oh um, yeah. Uh, you know what I wanted to play though? Valheim. Chomp Companions. Is that the one where you want the purple Viking from? Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. You know, it's basically flavor of the month. It's pretty much died out, but I still want to play it. The game's pretty fun. I think you'll like it. Probably not. Is it turn based? <laughs> no. <laughs> this motherfucker is turn based. This is like. Your dog is looking at me. Yes, bitch. Iggy, do you mind? We're recording it. What the fuck is in your mouth? <laughs> All right, fuck off, man. Whatever. We're, we're, we're too drunk to care. All right, let's get cooking. Let's get. Let's go. Get let's go. go. <laughs>